Previously on The Bill. I can't do this all by myself. You won't have to. I'll be here. Have I just got myself engaged to a gay man? Do you think I'm having an affair? With the Sarge? There's a signature. The Baptist. He's just become real. I've got the site up now. A company called Mullen Holdings. What, nothing like it or similar register to that address ever? No? OK. Yeah, thank you. Right, the website is registered to a company with a dummy address. It's a front, a dead end. There's no way to get any further without hacking. Then it's hack. Um, I don't know how and neither do you. Well, there should be a pool of hackers working for the Met that we could pull on whenever we needed them. Yeah, yeah it's illegal. And Tim. those aren't, eh? Pictures of a dead girl for people to get off on. Look, MIT needs something concrete to go on. If I can't give it to them, then that is that. You've got to do something. We can't give up that easy. So what's the do what, Ken? It's a dead end. What is? Oh, those photos that Simon Kitson gave you off the web? The website's registered to a dummy company. Can you keep at it? See what you can dig up. Yeah, chocolate fix. Cheers. Eva, I'm going to need you with me. There's been a baby snatch at St Hughes. Right, is there anything else I should know about? No. Oh, yeah, your daughter rang. Mm, what did she say? Um, something about this evening. I'll have to call her back. It's her birthday. I was hoping to get away early. Oh. Baby snatch. What a nightmare. Sorry. Brandon. Hey. Something up? How you doing? What's going on? The baby's been abducted. We're going to search. What baby? About ten hours old from maternity. Kathy's up there now. You better check it out. Yeah, later. Good guy, come with me. Nice touch. What? You're trying to give her a heart attack. She's got her own baby in here. First floor. Excuse me. Have you seen this girl? Her name's Vicky Catton. She was last seen in the mouth four days ago. Is this about that killer? No, she's missing, but it is important that we find her. No, sorry. OK, thanks. Sorry. No, look, nothing doing. I think we'll wind this up here, don't you? Yeah. A couple of people have asked if it's about another killing. Yeah, well, that's not far from any of our minds, is it? How can someone get past the secure doors? Other visitors. They hold the doors open for each other. They're not supposed to, but they do. Uh, I saw some cameras when it came in. We've got CCTV, yes. And where are the tapes kept? I'm Deuce McAllister, Sun Hill. Tom Yardley, head of security. Right, I'll be taking off from PC Bradford. Oh, excuse me. When did you realise the baby was missing? Um, the nurses noticed about 40 minutes ago. The mother was still asleep. When was the last time the nursing staff definitely saw him? An hour after he was born. Okay. Have you declared this a critical incident? You've only just arrived, Sarge. Well, I'm declaring it one now. So you're on maternity leave? I just came off it. Call the station, please, and let them know what's going on. What about the father? Has anyone told him yet? Can you think of anyone who might have taken baby Joe? Anyone who may have a reason to take him? Can you? I want my baby. We're searching for him now. I want Eddie here. Eddie? Is he the father? I want my baby! I want my baby! If you do happen to see her, please give us a call on that number, all right? Thanks very much for your help. Hey, is it right about what I hear? The Sergeant Gilmore's boyfriend broke into your flat. Uh, yeah. What was all that about? I don't know. He's drunk or something. You gonna press charges? No. Why not? He's in hospital. He nicked Sarge's car and smashed himself up. You got hurt? Yeah, pretty badly. All oh, right. Sounds like divine retribution to me. Yeah. I just want to forget about it. Yeah, what do you think of Ruby, the new girl? Well, she's new and she's a girl. Yeah. And what about Gemma? Has she uh, been driving me early car all the time I've been away? Yeah, most of the time. Yeah. Any good? Yeah. Good enough to take my place. Look, you couldn't expect to be in the area car on your first day back. Anyway, it's not a contest. She's all right, you know. Oh, I see. New best friend, eh? No, no, it's just I know the way your mind works. Listen, I'm just glad to be back at work, mate. Anyway, if you say she's all right, I'd trust you. Your opinion's good with me, Betty. We're we knocking off, then? Yeah, yeah. I suppose 
to be on maternity leave. So it's up to her when she well, puts she's back only on. She's not in the first place. So, she wants to see it. So what? So. 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 Well, has she been seeing? No, she hasn't. I'm taking over. That's all she cares about. Did you get anywhere, Sarge? She's in shock. Either that, or she's very stupid. Well, I'm sure she's in shock. Or well, maybe she's in shock and very stupid. Now, do you want in on this or do you want to bow out now that we're here? I'm in, Gov. Are you sure? I'm in. Good. Now, where are we up to? Check the CCTV? Uh, security is supposed to be doing that. I'll chase it up, Gov. All right, now, search of the hospital. Done. OK, let's widen the search. I want uniform canvassing the immediate area. OK, let's start with the local cab firms, the tube stations, the bus stops. Gov. Right, now, where's the father? He doesn't know yet. OK, Cathy, go find him and tell him. And bring him back! Yeah. Where's the mother? This way, Gov. Are all the tapes from the relevant camera like this? During the time in question, yes. It's unbelievable. This must be your highest risk ward and your camera's bust. They get checked every 24 hours. I'll show you the log if you like. Well, that doesn't help us here, does it? Is there just the one camera? Yes. Are there any on the approach corridors? No. Oh. Look, on the budget I have to work to, we get limited numbers. The one on the ward doors covers the corridor as it is. Mate, not when it's not working, it doesn't. Brandon Kane said you're needing more bodies for the baby search. Where I am. OK, you work with Kerry, Cameron's in these shops, yeah? Listen, I know Carl was stirring it with Kerry about us. Did she say anything? Yeah. Yeah, she asked if she was getting engaged to a gay man. What are we going to do about it? <laughs> we? No, we're going to do nothing. You sort out your boyfriend, I'll deal with my own problems. Uh, foot patrol suits you, Des. I'll make the most of it, cos I'm sure I'm going to be back on top. What do you want? Uh, just winding me up about the area car. Not him, Sergeant Gilmore. He said to come and canvas the shops for you. Oh, yeah? Look, don't start, Kerry. I asked you a question last night. I didn't get an answer. I'm not going to play your games. If that's how you want it, then I'll work on my own. Are you the area car driver, then? Yeah, and I'm still fully qualified. What is it with everyone today? Have you seen this woman? Uh, no, I haven't. How come you were off sick? I got injured while I was at work. Driving? No, not driving. Why has somebody been saying something? Sierra, Sierra, what? No, no one said over. anything. Sierra 1, Sierra Oscar, go ahead over. The vehicle is then in progress on Ruskin Road at the junction with Shipley Street. Over. Sierra 1, Sierra Oscar, one the hill to the lane, the show is dealing over. Right, come on, let's go. We're closer, so get in, come on. Ken tells me my photo expert came in. It's disappointing. Why? He thinks a bit of the photo around the chest and the abdomen have been digitally altered. But why is that disappointing? Because that's where she'd have been opened up for the post-mortem. He thinks the images were manipulated to hide the incisions. What, after the body was found? Like, after it had been examined? In other words, maybe by someone who had official access to the body. What about the props? The curtains? The black? The, the ornamental, almost ritual setup? Surely that tells us something about the mindset of whoever did this, doesn't it? Yeah, but your experts say it wasn't the killer that took the photo. So it's a red herring. People ask us about this. People in the street ask us what we're doing about this. Samantha, I know you've invested a lot in these photos, but this isn't personal. We thought we had a lead, and your expert says we haven't. Oh. Samantha Nixon. Oh, uh, you ready, Colchi? Yeah. Is he Bradford Sunil? It's about Baby Joe. Is he up? No, but he's been abducted. Abducted? Yeah, from the hospital. Where's Angie? Well, she's asking for you, so I'll take you down there. TOA 1535, vehicle theft at Radkin Road. Have you time? Oh, oh, he took my car! He took my car! All right, who did? I stopped to buy flowers and he took my car that way. All right, just slow down a bit, will you? All right, let's have the registration on the description of the car, please. Blue Mercedes, W6 something, I don't know the number, just go. Look, there's not much point in going after them until we know we're chasing. What did the guy look like? Asian, maybe Arab, I don't know, dark, Mediterranean. Yeah, which? Why are you asking me this? Just go, go after it. Well, I'll tell you what, eh? Why don't I just wave my magic little wand and we'll get your car back that way? We can let Reg and Gemma deal with this one. 
I don't think I like your tone. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I'm the fellow who can get your car back if you start giving me some relevant information. My name is Mrs. Brian Williams. My husband is the Deputy Assistant Commissioner. And do something about my car. Oh, all yours, does. Where's Eddie? Oh, someone's gone to fetch him. Angie, you must stay in the room that we got you, OK? I don't trust her. Why not? Just go. This is the Father Sarge, Eddie Colchin. Where's Angie? I'll show you. Thanks, Cathy. Oh. Oh, babe, you must be going out of your mind. Don't worry. They'll find him. I'll find him. It's gonna be all right. Yeah? This is a private moment, yeah? Much made in heaven. It must be difficult for you. Being in the same hospital with your baby. Uh-huh. How is he? He's got an infection from the meconium that he inhaled, pneumonia. But the nurse says that he's getting through it. Oh. Making progress, yeah? Yeah. He's small, so he's weak. Is he still in the incubator? And any idea when you can take him home? When he gets stronger. Well, it's your fault, right? Oh, my baby! Hi! Don't worry with me now, yeah? Because it's your responsibility! I want to hold you responsible! You! I said! Yes, enough! Listen, I've got a child missing! Don't tell me what's enough, woman! Here, in this hospital, that's enough. I think that's the way we're going, so take this as an early warning, as it were. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll let you know. OK, bye-bye. Doug, I want to keep going on the website pictures. You heard what Duncan had to say about that? Yes, I did. Well, if you did find anything, Ken, I'd be delighted. Apart from anything else, there's a teenage Miss Purr out there. Same age, same profile as all the other victims. So I know she was in here recently, attacked her stepmother. So what are your thoughts on the photos? Well, if they were taken after post-mortem, they should be easier to trace. Mm. I mean, there must only be a limited number of people who had access to the body at that point. You got them there? Yeah. OK. You need to look for the permanent features in the images, all right? The black walls, the red floor. I mean, you might find the curtains and the other props, but I'd start with the things that don't actually move. Oh, is that a yes? Yes. Any culture you know of, he's got form for assault and got equipped. Interesting. I knew he was dodgy. Right, I've decided we're going to do an appeal. I've spoken to the press office and they're sorting logistics. It will be in the hospital and we'll want to see it's in the hospital. The main point is to alert the public and to find witnesses, particularly whoever may have let the abductor pass the secure doors, intentionally or not. Are you going to do an emotional appeal? Uh, yeah, I want the father to do that. Why? Because I don't think Angie's up to it and because of what we know about him. What's that? Well, that he's wound pretty tight and he's already got some form. Now, look, let's not get carried away. We're looking for facts, OK? Not suspicions. The whole point of putting him in the spotlight is to find out if his story is consistent. Does it hold together? Before the appeal and after the appeal, how does he behave, all right? That's what we're looking for. Will Angie take part in this? Cos I think she should. Why's that? For the same reasons you gave for the father. I'll call you back. Well, you don't think she's too upset? Well, even if she's upset, isn't that the point? An emotional appeal, to be emotional. Point taken. I'll see what the press officer thinks. Now, anyone else? We're a mixed race couple. Do you think it's her and not him? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just not ruling it out. Good afternoon. DC Drummond, Sun Hill. What can I do for you, Mr. Drummond? The coroner's office informed me that uh, you were the firm that arranged the funeral for Tina Pope, the murder victim. Yes, that's right. I mean, we've come across some photos of the dead body. Yes. Well, we think they may have been taken after the post-mortem, which means we have to investigate anyone that might have had access to the body after that time. What do you want to know? Well, can I have a look at the room where the body was prepared? Yes, certainly. It's through here. Where did you find the photos? 
Reporter found on the net. Can't get to grips with a net. I don't think I want to if that's what's out there. Did you prepare Tina Pope's body yourself? Yes. I don't do many myself, but it was a horrible death. Plus the time in the river, I thought the family deserved the best we could offer. Were you the only one who had access to the body? Uh, no. Who else did? An ex-employee. Ex? I sacked him recently. He was unreliable. What's his name? Shane Pello. It's every parent's worst nightmare, isn't it? Having one of your kids go missing. I didn't know you had kids. Yeah. Pad is right. I don't have them anymore. Separated. Well, badge of honour in this job. I wouldn't have known. You don't show it. Uh oh, she's gone walk about again. Where's Eddie? Talking about what he's going to say. Are you going to say something? No. What? No, it's all right. Let's just go back to your room. I think we're in the way here. How old are you, Andy? Twenty-two. Did you plan the pregnancy? Why? I'm curious. I just had a baby. And things didn't work out the way I planned them. You got sick. At least you got yours. Did you plan it? Yeah. Was Eddie pleased when he found out? He's a man. Some men take more time to come round to things. He wants it bad. How bad? Angie? Not as bad as me. I didn't think I would, but I do. I want my baby. <laughs> they, uh, they're ready. It's my fault, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll tell them that she needs a couple of minutes. Well, you stay in. I'll go. Same funeral parlour that buried Tina Pope. Shane Pellow went up with the first murder victim in Liz Chambers and there was no evidence against him. Well, now he's taking photos of other victims when they're dead. <sighs> Did he take the photos? Well, he had the opportunity. It's not the same thing. <sighs> Look, do you really think, Duncan, that it's a coincidence that Pellow was involved with an earlier victim and now he's probably taking these? <laughs> what did the experts say? Only a sick voyeur could have taken these photographs. Now, what I remember of Shane Pello, that fits him to a T. So what am I supposed to do? Come on, Duncan! OK. You bring him in and I'll question him. Is that good enough for you? If you're the person who's got baby Joe, if you know who's got baby Joe, if you know anything at all, uh, he's my only baby. My baby. Bring him back to us, Not please. Our That's baby. the only thing that matters. Bring him back safely. He, he's everything to me. I just keep on hoping, keep on hoping that somewhere, somehow, all of this would turn out right. And I'll wake up and it'll all be over. He's acting emotional, but look how tired he is. He's my only he's son. Are. He's my everything. My everything. Sierra Oscar from 432, go ahead. There is a report of an ill or drunken icy one female in Canley Mall wearing a denim skirt matching description of Vicky Casson. Over. OK, we're on our way. Show us ceiling. Over. Show Should we just ceiling. stop here by the west entrance, I'll bet, where the bogs are? How do you know that? It's the nearest bit of wall to the offy on Maydale Street. Stick with me, Des. I'll show you all the sights. Hey, no, don't get cute. <laughs> I know where the dodgy discos and gambling dens are, but teenage haunts in Sun Hill is my speciality. Oh, yeah, why is that? I grew up here. Is this where she is, love? <laughs> After you. She's wearing a denim skirt.
Vicky? Vicky, can you hear me? Is she all right? Vicky? Ah, Brandon, how does the uh, appeal for the missing baby go? Oh, we'll have to wait and see. It's down to what the public know now. Listen, do you remember Liz Chambers and Shane Pellow? Oh, Liz Chambers, yeah. She's one of the ones where you think if only I'd played it differently, she might still be alive, you know? Why? But I think Shane Pellow might have taken those pictures on the net. Oh, he was definitely into the kinky stuff. Like what? s and &M, sex games, with him doing the hurting, excuse me. Brandon. Yeah, I'll be down in a minute, Sarge. But they were consenting. There was nothing we could do. How can you consent to that? How can anyone call that consent when it's teenagers? I'm not calling it anything. I'm saying they did. Yeah, but Tina Pope didn't consent to those pictures. I know that. Angie Rowland. No, you mean Eddie Colchie. Well, how do you know that? What? Anonymous caller. She says Eddie Colchie isn't Angie's boyfriend. Hmm. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? What are you doing here? We just brought in some teenage drunk, sir. We thought it was the missing girl, Sarge, but she hasn't got the nose stud. She keeps on asking for the mother, but she won't tell us who she is. Right, so you're getting back out there, yeah? Well, that's a... You wanted to see me, Sarge? Yeah, we had a response from this morning. A motorist recognised Vicky Casson, but not from the shopping centre. Could you hold, please? He spotted her in this pub last weekend. Now, that's before she disappeared, but it's still pretty recent. Yeah, thanks. Hello. Yeah, I'll be right down. The Cat and Sparrow. It's where Shane Pellow drinks. We used to drink. They don't. It's a hangout for these grungy goth types, and there's a spillover into uh, Pellow's S&M scene. This is where Vicky Casson was seen? Yeah. Vicky Casson? Yeah, yeah, she was seen recently drinking in the pub with Pello. How long has she been missing? Four days. Oh, that's a bad connection. Pello, now, that's bad. That's what I'm telling you, and that's why we should get down there. Why down on this one? Now, I'm hoping this is just a coincidence, because the alternative yeah, doesn't bear thinking about. It's just not... Mr Williams! Oh, sorry. I asked for the duty officer. Yeah, well, I'm the duty sergeant. Our three most senior officers are out of the station at the moment. How can I help you? I want to know what's been done about my car. And I want to complain about one of your officers. He was very rude. Really? Well, I'm sorry to hear about that. Which officer was it? 432? I don't know his name. My husband is Brian Williams, the Deputy Assistant Commissioner. Right, well, if you'd like to wait in here, Mum, I'm, uh, I think I should perhaps find a more senior officer. So do I. Are you in a stable and monogamous relationship with Angie? What? Are you her only partner? Listen, if I wanted marriage counselling, I'd get married. Now, what is this about? In response to the television appeal, we've received information that you are not Angie's boyfriend. What? I live with the woman and she's just had my baby. What do you think I am? Why would anybody say that about you? Ask them. Who was it? I can't tell you that. Yeah, I bet you can't. And I bet you can't tell me how this helps to find my son either. What are you doing to find my son? Look, I'm sure you understand, but we need to pursue all leads, if only to eliminate them. Well, pursue this. He's out there, not in air. I haven't you got that yet. Bye-bye. Great. Deputy Assistant Commissioner Brian Williams' wife is downstairs. She's complaining about Des Tavern. Why are you telling me? Well, she wants to see a senior officer. You're the most senior we've got. Oh, that's all I need. What is it, then? She had a car stolen. Des was dealing and she thought he was rude. Uh, rude? I'm in the middle of a missing baby investigation and I'm dealing with rude? That's politics, Gov. What's she like? Annoyed. Oh. Heard there was an incident involving your boyfriend last night. You all right? Uh, I am, but he's in hospital. Is it bad? Well, we won't know until later when the consultant... Superintendent Adam Accaro, please. Excuse me, folks. <clears throat> Have you ever seen this girl before? You sure? You see Take a good look. You sure? Yeah. Excuse me, have you, uh, you ever seen this girl before? 
sure. There's a whole lot of people worried about her, man. You see her anyway, give us a ring, yeah? Yeah, all right. Thank you. Nothing. No one's seen anything. This whole place could burn down and they wouldn't see anything. Yeah. Nothing they'd tell you and I anyway. Why didn't you say in there when I asked you? Would well, you want to know or not? Go on. I've seen her with Sean in that crowd. Sean or Shane? Shane, yeah, that's it. Shane, not Sean. I've seen her with him. and join you at his home address. OK, well done, Ken. Oh, Mrs Williams, D.I. Nixon. I'm sorry for the delay, but I've been dealing with a baby abduction and a missing teenager that could be in serious danger. It's been a busy day. Is there any news about my car? I'm afraid not. You know, your officer stood at the roadside being rude to me instead of pursuing it. Well, I haven't been able to speak with the officer yet, but I will. Um, I'm also trying to phone our superintendent, just as an indication to how seriously we take this. And? Well, I haven't been able to reach him yet. <sighs> oh, excuse me, that might be him now. Samantha Nixon. Well, I had mentioned that. Oh, she's with me now. He wants to talk to you. Superintendent. Well, no, neither do I. Gov? Thank you. Is there anything more I can do? Not according to your superintendent. No. Police! Police! in the pictures. Yeah, these link as well. Well, Pello's not here. Judging by the smell in the kitchen, he hasn't been here for days. No sign of the missing girl either. No, Gus. How are you feeling? Oh. I'll, um, I'll get you some water. <clears throat> I think you had a bit too much to drink. Do you know where you are? No. It's on your police station. You were brought in for your own safety. Does my mum know I'm here? I don't think so. I can let her know. What's your name? Abby. Abby what? Nixon. And how do I get hold of your mum, Abby? She works here. Do you mean Detective Inspector Nixon? Right, yeah. I think I better go and find her. Desmond and you girl brought in. That's D.I. Nixon's daughter. Really? Oi! This is too big for you to keep avoiding. What? What am I avoiding? You know! Is it the big question or the little one? Do I know who I am or am I having a thing with Sergeant Gilmore? Which is it? That I'm not avoiding anything. It's yes and no in that order. But that's not the point, Kerry. The point is what you think I'm capable of, and that I can't answer. You've got to do that for yourself. Oh, security was looking for you a few minutes ago. Thanks. Is Angie in her room? Yeah. Oh, Mr Yardley said it was urgent. What do we do first? Security. Where is this? 
It's the canteen goods entrance. Want it back? She's got the baby under the coat. OK, stop when she turns her head. Hmm. That looks a bit like Angie. Could be. We've just found some CCTV footage of a woman leaving the hospital this morning with a bundle under her coat. It looks like you, Angie. No. Did you take the baby from the hospital? No. What have you done with baby Jo? It's not me, it's her. Her? Who do you mean, Angie? It's my sister, my sister Mel. Why would she take your baby? She thinks he's hurt. No, that doesn't make sense. Plenty of people want babies, but they still don't just walk in and take them. I said I would. Would what? Have one for her. Why didn't you tell us about this? I don't want to get in trouble. Why would you get in trouble? What have you done? He said I would. Eddie did. Hold on. Did you have his baby to give to your sister? I don't want to now. I don't want to give him away. That's why she took him. Angie, did they pay you to have his baby? OK, Eddie. Where's baby Joe? Look, I'm telling you... No, no, no. We are telling you. This is enough. Now answer me, has Angie's sister, your girlfriend, got the baby? Eddie, don't lie to me. Angie's told us about your arrangement. Look, I didn't know, right? I didn't know until after she took him. Until after. Well, you better take us to where they are now. Right now. All the hallmarks of another victim. Young girl with a hair cut off and rope marks. Any ID? A bit early for that. She did have a stud in her nose. Does that fit anyone's description? The missing teenager, Vicky Casson. Yeah. The missing teenager that we connected to Shane Pillow. All right, all right, calm down, Ken. We better find Shane Pillow. Now he's interested. That's right, Ken. Now I'm interested. Craig Gilmore. Yeah. With what kind of treatment? And uh, that represents his, his best chance, does it? Could you put a percentage on that? Yeah. Right, thanks for calling. Bye. You all right, Sarge? Yeah, um, that was the hospital about Carl. There's no point in operating. He needs lots of physio and lots of time, the consultant says. He's got a 20% chance he'll walk again, so that's better than nothing. You must really love him. He needs me. It's not really what you want to know, though, is it? But Luke, Carl was stirring. The more trouble he causes, the better he likes it. That's what he does. How do I get my car out? I'll sort it. Gov, I think you should know. Des and Ruby picked your daughter up. What, Abby? She's at the station. She's had a bit too much to drink. Thanks. Room number eight. You can do it yourself. Is this the right place or not? Yeah, but I'm not doing it. I can't. Well, I don't think you're in any position to lay down any rules, Eddie. So show us where they are and stop messing about.
What have you done? Don't do anything silly. I'm Debbie McAllister. This is Eva. We're both police officers. Oh. And you're Mel and your sister? You don't have to worry about anything, Mel. We're here to make sure baby Joe's safe. Well, he is safe. That's good. He's safe with me. Good. I'm glad. But this isn't an ideal situation, is it? I mean, a lot of people have been worried about baby Joe. Yeah, well, he's safer with me than with Angie. Why's that? She said she'd hurt him. She did? She said if she couldn't keep him, she'd hurt him. That's not good. She broke her promise. Which was? To have him for us. Or well, for me. She took the money and broke her promise. Because she wanted to keep him. And he told her she couldn't. She couldn't take the money and keep him. Give him to me, Mel. He'll be safe. It's all over now. Shane Pillow might have hung out. Yeah. Clubbed? Yeah. Pubbed? Yeah. Family and friends? Yeah, he'll do it all again, but I do think the Captain Sparrow is the best lead we have. No, just leave that one for me. Okay. See you in a minute. Yeah. Sam? Yeah. You were right about those photos. They should have been a priority. I'm really sorry. Oh, don't beat yourself up about it. We got there. Yeah, you're not fast enough for that girl in the river, though. No, but she was probably dead before we even saw the pictures. Oh, excuse me, Duncan. I've got something I have to deal with. No problem. Look at me like that. What are you playing at? Drinking yourself, stupid. You've made a right spectacle of yourself and of me. You don't care. I can't even invite who I want to my own party. Don't shout at me. I do care. All I'm saying is, whoever comes to the sleepover... I'm not a kid. It's not a sleepover. We agreed on three friends. All right, now, if two of them decide to fall out, that's not my problem. And it's also no reason to go and get drunk. It's not that! I have important things I should be doing, Abby. I do my best by you. This is no way to repay me. It's my birthday, Mum. I know that. I know how much you do. I know how hard it is. I've got no problem with what you do for me. Then what is it? It's what you won't do. What? Why won't you tell me who my dad is? I want to know who my dad is. I want to know. No. Why? Why won't you tell me? Likely he will. Sweet little thing, though. Aren't you? Kerry, I... I spoke to Craig, took your advice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was scared, okay? I was freaked out and I doubted you. I can't bear fighting you. I can't bear it. 
What did he say? It doesn't matter what he said. You were right. I know you better than that. I should trust my instincts. I'm sorry. Give me a hug. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, you found him? Yeah. He seems fine. That's fantastic. No, it's not that simple. For his own safety, social services will be involved and they'll decide where to place him. Why? It's surrogacy. Angie took money to have him. That's really sad, isn't it? Yeah. Is that him? Is that him? Have you found him? Let me have him! Angie, he's fine. Get off! Get off me! He's mine! Let me have him! Angie! You had him for money and you threatened to hurt him! But he's mine! He's mine! Sarge. Angie! It doesn't work like Sarge. that! Sarge! You don't own babies! Sarge, look. Now, she gave birth to him. She's been through a lot and she does have a right. OK, now. If she comes with us, when they check him out, I'll, um, I'll be chaperone. OK. Don't worry. One of his crab will come in eventually. I'll tell you when they do. Thanks. Hello, Ken Drummond. Keep him there. I don't care how, just do it! I'm on my way! Girls, alert all units. We found Pello. part of you. That's how they know it too. He doesn't feel part of me. Debbie, it takes time and you've got years. Believe me, there's no point in forcing it. So they even try to. I'm not. I don't want to. I don't feel anything. I didn't feel anything when I was pregnant. And I don't feel anything now. Oh, you 
units from 432 Urgent Assistance Required, Back of Owens Funeral Parlour, Jug Street. The suspects on foot heading towards Luxford Road. Okay, Back of Owens Funeral Parlour. Suspect on foot heading towards Luxford Road. Where is he? He should be heading straight towards you. Now, got him, got him. Look, he's going through the underpass into Taff Road. Get over to the other side. Understood, we're heading there now. Seen. Oh. But he might be hiding. Don't bank on it. Damn. Look, you two stay here. Reg, Gemma, you come with me. We'll take a drive round. Where is he? We lost him, Gov. He got away. Oh, <laughs> Next time on The Bill. <laughs> it's your birthday, Gary. Could this be the murder site? Well, if it is, it's a gem of a place. Hey, off me! <laughs> Daughter's dead. What do you think lesbians are just born like that or the athletes who could all be gonna. Hey, hang on! 